All right, I'm going to work this out above this comment here in the main method. Create a scanner. Scanner, scan equals new, scanner, system, dot, in. Pass the user for a string. Please enter a string. We're going to say string str equals scan dot next line. That's how you get a string from the user. Ask the user for their age as an integer. Um, I'm going to copy the print line. Enter your age as an int. And age equals scan dot next int. Uh, and ask them for a double less than in a 99.9. Please enter double less than 99.9. And here we say double val equals scan dot next double. I was checking if you could do that. Please do it in the order I said. Print a line saying, how many years until the user turns 100? You will turn 100 in plus 100 minus age plus years. All you got to do is got to have the parentheses around there. Let's make sure this works. A line giving change if the double value was something what something cost and you paid with a hundred dollar bill i like to imagine i paid something with a hundred dollar bill so we're gonna system dot out print line change from 100 we're gonna again in parentheses we're gonna do 100 minus val is what i called this number and then finally, we're going to print out the, the phrase in uppercase, str dot to uppercase. Um, I'm going to pause this. All right, I'm back. Um, so we did the uppercase. Now print the string out without its first and last characters. This would be substring. Now instead of, instead of just sorry, str dot substring. We're gonna start at character one and we're gonna go all the way to one less than the last character. And so that would be str dot length minus one. Pretty sure. Give it a try. One hundred and forty-two years. Change from one hundred to be sixty-five point seven. Uppercase hamster farm without first and last letter hamster farm. There you go. All right. Um, when I said your code must work for any string two or longer, that what I was meaning was I needed you to do one comma and then use the str.length. You can't hard code it to what you're testing your program with. You have to assume I could enter any string. But I was just telling you there's going to be at least two characters, so you don't have to worry like, what if he only enters one character? You know, you go ahead and just write it assuming there's at least two characters, which is what I did right here. Okay, print the string out with the first and last halves swapped. Okay, out dot print line, halves swapped. We will say uh, str dot 
substring, and we're going to do the second half. So we're going to start at the second half location and just go to the end using a single number, and that's str.length divided by 2. And that expression I'm going to copy. Um, so we're going to do plus, and now uh, actually should have copied the whole thing. And with Java, you, you're allowed to go to the next line here. Plus, and then we're going to say zero, comma. And that's the second half of the string. So um, we'll test it with Haze. And we're going to find the location of the at symbol. By the hashtag symbol. Yeah, and this is, uh, that's without the first and last. And this is the first and last have swapped. Now we're going to print the location of the hashtag symbol. Plus str.index of, and then quotes, and then hashtag. So if it's not found, remember it prints negative one. That, that's what happened in my example. And now we're going to make a random number between 5 and 26 using math.random. So int r equals int. Now we always have parentheses here. Math.random, open and close parentheses, times the range. And then over here, we're going to say plus start. Now the starting value was 5. The range. Uh, is a 26 minus 5 plus 1. The rule is the top, the biggest number minus the smallest number plus 1. So it'll be 22. All right. And then my instructions say print it, print the square root, and print it cubed using math.pow. Uh, all right. Random R. I'm gonna um, square root. That is math dot sqrt. And oops, square root. And then cubed. This is math dot how the base the base is r and that's the power okay i think we're done string space puts in my age i'm 98 today and 120 20 we go give me my change there's mr hayes upper that the first and last have swapped index random number square root of that looks about right and 17 cubed i'm just going to trust is that number because that's how you do it awesome